Welcome back into the Osmo YouTube channel, guys. My name is Jeff Ulrich, bringing you a little December 24th Christmas Eve picks for Jock Market in Week 16 of the NFL season. I've got three of them to throw at you, but before we get there, don't forget Jock Market. They have turned fantasy sports into a stock exchange. Forget waiting until the end of the game to make money. Jock Market allows you to buy and sell shares in real time for real money with guaranteed payouts. All shares at the end of the night. They have daily markets, NBA, MLB, NHL, and PGA. You can make real money every hour, every minute, every second of any match or game with the jock market IPOs. And you use the pregame IPOs to pick up shares of your favorite players. That's how it works. You buy, sell, or hold them during the game based on your own analysis. And you download the app to get started. You use our exclusive Osmo promo code, Osmo for up to a $50 bonus on your first deposit. This is an exclusive offer only for the Osmo community. So make sure to take advantage of it today. That's Osmo for a $50 bonus on Jock Market. And you get that bonus. You can use it in week 16 here. I've got three picks from Jock Market. You should be looking to target in those IPOs, picking up shares. The first guy I want to talk about, let's go to the quarterback position. It's Joe Burrow of the Cincinnati Bengals. I just can't stop talking about this guy. I like him too much this week. There's some quarterbacks getting more heat than Joe Burrow, but going up against the Baltimore Ravens. And if you haven't heard, the Baltimore Ravens, they've had issues in their secondary, COVID outages, injuries. They're just not very good at defending the pass. They've allowed 7.5 yards per attempt, pass attempt in the league this year. They've just gone downhill since the beginning of the year. That's third worst in the league. So Joe Burrow going to be going up against the depleted Ravens secondary here. He put up over 30 fantasy points against them in their first meeting too. And like I said, they've gotten worse since then. This is just a massive game for the Cincinnati Bengals at home too. Can really solidify first place. Probably the biggest game in franchise history. Well, franchise over the last decade for sure. And Joe Burrow, he's played better than people realize. That completion, per completion percentage and yards per pass attempt have been up there all season. I think him, Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd, T. Higgins, they can really get off against the secondary. And I like the upside here. On jock market, I don't think Joe Burrow is going to be a popular target, too. You've got people looking at Patrick Mahomes, Justin Herbert. Joe Burrow should be available for cheaper in those IPOs. Maybe even get a piece of him in-game. I like picking up a piece of him this week because I think his upside for the entire game is very, very big. Let's move to the wide receiver position for our second pick, though. And let's go to the Seattle Seahawks. They're getting Tyler Lockett back. And let me tell you, folks, that is a good thing for their offensive potential. Tyler Lockett has been their offense when he's been healthy. He missed last week. You saw how poorly the Seahawks were at moving the ball. Lockett had averaged 17.5 yards per catch in his last two games before the COVID outage game. And he faces a Bears team here who's allowed the most touchdowns to the wide receiver position. The Bears secondary is very, very bad. They've got a bunch of young guys playing back. There. They're just overmatched, and especially against a guy like Lockett, who is so good downfield, I think Tyler Lockett is in for a big game here. You've also got the fact that DK Metcalf just cannot get on the same track as Russell Wilson. So Tyler Lockett being back, he's averaged eight targets per game over those last two games when he was healthy. Russell Wilson, you know, speaking out in the media this week, saying he's finally feeling healthier as well. I think you're going to see more deep completions for Russell Wilson and Tyler Lockett. And I think you'll see those two combine for a big game here. I like getting a piece of Lockett though. I think people are overlooking the spot a little bit for him. I think he's going to be a great upside target on jock market. Again, a player you may not have to pay that much for in the IPOs. A great target though this week, Tyler Lockett. Last pick of the week. Let's stick with the receiver position, but let's go to tight end and a big pass catching tight end. And, and it's Dallas Goddard of the Philadelphia Eagles. I really like the way this guy has played late in the season. He's averaged 11 yards per catch over his last two games. And he's just developed into the Philadelphia Eagles, essentially number one receiver. He's gotten 15 targets over his last two games. That leads the Eagles by a wide margin in that mark. And if not for a really uncharacteristic drop, by Dallas Goddard last week. He could have even had a bigger game, but he's now gone over 100 yards receiving in each of his last two games, and he plays a Giants team this week who's allowed the fifth most receptions to opposing tight ends. I love Dallas Goddard and his ability after the catch here. I think you're even looking at a guy who's potentially the new Travis Kelsey in town. He's got the talent. And we're seeing that end of the year surge here, getting more targets, going up against weaker pass defenses. I think you look for Dallas Goddard to keep putting up big games here. And I don't know how popular he's going to be with all these other tight ends available on the slate. Mark Andrews going off. I like the potential here for Dallas Goddard against a very weak linebacker crew for the New York Giants. So in week 16, target him on jock market and look for him to keep putting up big games. Like I said, he's developed into the Eagles best receiving option. So to recap, three guys we want to target for jock market in the pre holidays here, week 16, we got Joe Burrow of the Cincinnati Bengals going up against the Baltimore Ravens. We got Tyler Lockett 
wide receiver for the Seattle Seahawks. And we got Dallas Goddard of the Philadelphia Eagles. Those are going to be our three upside picks for Jock Market in Week 16. If you haven't done it already, guys, smash that like button for me if you could. Subscribe to the Awesome YouTube channel if you haven't already. Most importantly, have yourselves a great Week 16 on the Jock Market streets. I'm Jeff Ulrich, and we'll talk to you again soon.